what is regulation of gene expression why we are studying regulation of gene expression so first we must know what is gene expression gene expression means in simple words protein synthesis when from dna mrna is synthesized or transcribed from mrna in turn protein is translated now what what the word regulation means regulation means obviously controlling so regulation of gene expression is basically the method of controlling method of controlling transcription as well as trans relation due to change in requirement of the cells of a specific protein so if a protein or any other product or any other product so if a press uh, so let me elaborate so if a protein or any other substance uh, for example any sugar means any product any product is required then gene expression will occur first translation then transcript sorry uh, transcription then translation will occur if the cell do not require that specific product then the expression of the gene will be stopped so that energy wastage can be controlled this is mainly done to control the wastage of energy now coming to methods of gene expression first one is translational level during this level um recognition of uh, promoter is inhibited next one is processing level just a moment processing level that is regulation regulation of splicing we studied about this during transcription splicing occurs in eukaryotes that is removal of uh, unwanted genes present in dna introns then comes uh, transport during transport of mrna from nucleus to cytoplasm last but not the least translational level during this level as you can see basically what is done the mrna is not allowed to synth uh, synthesize or from mrna protein synthesis is stopped now uh, we know these all these methods are mainly used in um or mainly found in mainly used by eukaryotes as we know that uh, in case of eukaryotes only uh, transport and processing is applicable in case of prokaryotes translational level is the most applied way of not way uh, applied level of regulation of gene expression now coming to examples like 
the differentiation development and div differentiation of embryo which leads to which is done by mm, control and regulation that is switch on and off of a set of genes is uh, example of gene uh, regulation of gene expression in case of eukaryotes in prokaryotes operon are operons are found now coming to a little bit more detail for example uh, in case of E. coli several are found that we'll study now okay so what is a what is an operon an operon is a set of gene which constitute an operon is a set of gene in DNA made up of promoter we know what is promoter promoter is the site which is recognized by RNA polymerase and RNA polymerase comes and binds to this site operator operator is a site just adjacent to the promoter site promoter operator I'll discuss it in the next inducer and inhibitor now coming to these are the parts as you can see first is operator it's better to write promoter site in DNA as DNA sequence recognized by RNA polymerase later it binds with promoter site now operator DNA sequence adjacent to promoter to which inhibitor binds to stop transcription then inducer binds with repressor molecule so that translation can occur then inhibitor or repressor stops the process of transcription and or translation okay now coming to next one that is example examples in case of prokaryotes that is lac operon TRP operon that is tryptophan lac means lactose TRP tryptophan val that is valine operon etc there are several others now coming to lac operon what is lac operon first we must know what is lactose lactose is a disaccharide which uh, is uh, broken down by an enzyme called beta galactosidase so when beat uh, lactose or allolactose is present inside a cell or when a cell gets enough amount of lactose to break down and provide energy then beta galactosidase is synthesized beta galactosidase convert or break down disaccharide lactose into 
glucose and galactose so lacoperon what is lacoperon is the set of genes which controls production of beta beta galactosidase which in turn controls breakdown breakdown of lactose in bracket disaccharide into glucose and galactose now parts of lacoperon you can see so first let me write parts of lacoperon then we'll study parts of lacoperon so what are the parts as you can see structural genes okay what are the structural genes which actually synthesize or translate important proteins or proteins which are essential for our uh, for us individual cell so z y a are the structural genes i is the inhibitor and p you can see p means promoter o or the next part is the operator to which the repressor goes and binds okay so parts of lacoperon just a moment number 1 structural genes which codes for a specific set of protein lac operon contain three structural genes that is z y and a role of z gene synthesize beta galactosidase and i told role of beta galactosidase role of y gene synthesize permease permease is an enzyme which allows um allows what to say transport transport of a specific molecule through the cell membrane as well as cell wall now role of a a gene synthesize or production of transacetylase all of these are required for regulation of lactose so these are the structural genes now coming to the next part next one it also has operator as we know promoter shown by p and inhibitor site as you can see in this image 
I is for inhibitor. It produces repressor mRNA, which in turn produces uh, repressor molecule. Okay. So, what is inhibitor? Inhibitor is the site of DNA which produces inhibitor is the site of DNA which produces a repress sir mRNA in turn synthesize repressor protein which binds with operator site so that translate transcription cannot occur now coming to how this gene regulation is actually controlled in lacoperon what what happens so what acts as inducer lactose acts as inducer so what is the inducer lactose so in presence of lactose what happens and in absence of lactose what happens we will just study now this image only will tell us what happens in absence of inducer this inhibitor as I told inhibitor site or sequence of uh, DNA synthesis transcribes repressor mRNA which in turn produces repressor protein this repressor protein goes and binds with the operator sequence of DNA as a result RNA polymerase cannot recognize promoter site cannot recognize I repeat as the repressor protein binds with the operator sequence RNA polymerase cannot bind with the promoter sequence this prevents transcription of the structural genes in absence sorry in presence of inducer what happens when lactose is present it binds with the repressor when lactose is present also in a small amount it binds with the repressor and makes it inactive as a result lack of mRNA is synthesized because RNA polymerase can recognize sequences so beta galactosidase permease and trans acetylase is synthesized that is all is written about lac operon uh, the repressor is synthesized all the time when inducer is present then only it is uh, what to say Bec it becomes inactive and this is an example of negative regulation